Hi guys, this is Tom from Brothers in Dice channel and today I want to show you how I painted Gene Stiller Cult's Patriarch. To model his base I used Piedra Blanca fine white pumice stone from Vallejo. After the base is dried I used standard black spray to prime him. Next I used Zenital Light technique and I used a one-to-one -one mixture of Snot Green and Abaddon Black. Both of these paints are from Citadel, but Snot Green is already discontinued. If you want to use something similar, just uh, use Warp Stone Glow or just any medium green. For the next layer, I just used pure Snot Green. The third layer was made with a mixture of Snot Green and Skull White 1 to 1 ratio. And again, Skull White is no longer made, so use any white. The final layer was uh, done with almost purely Skull White, I added just a touch of Snot Green and sprayed this layer from the very top to add maximum highlight to the model. Next, I sprayed the center of his back area with Rhinox Hide from Citadel. Then I airbrushed sides of his back area with Morphag Brown, again from Citadel, and I oversprayed a little over his shoulder areas. Using the same color, I sprayed his tail a little right over here. And also bottom side of his hands and feet. Again, using Mornfunk Brown, I painted his talons. Then I painted all the nails on the second pair of his hands and also his feet. I used Ushapti Bone from Citadel. Continuing with the same color, I wanted to paint the edges of his talons and the edges of his spikes on the back area. I wanted smooth transition for this, so I ended up using airbrush. I also wanted to add a little highlight to his back from this direction. I applied two to three coats, because Ushapti Bone can be a tricky paint to work with in an airbrush, it can look grey if you only apply it in one layer. Next, I wanted to have a little contrast of light and dark on his back. So I chose Rhinox Hide again and applied it to the base of the spikes on his back area to achieve this contrast. I painted his tongue with Macri Dread from Citadel. Again, this paint is no longer made, but I ended up changing my mind and I repainted it. You'll see later in the video. I continued with his face and painted the teeth with Ushapti Bone. Next I focused on the Marine's helmet, I used Enchanted Blue to paint it. Once again this paint is no longer made, so if you want to use an official equivalent it's Kalador Sky. And for cables I used Mechanicus Standard Grey. I continued with his brain. I painted it with Zerius Purple, I mixed it with a little bit of Ushapti Bone to make this color a little lighter. I started washing the model and I began with these recessed areas on his arms and legs. I used Agrax Earthshade. I continued with these same areas on the back and tail. I used Druchi Violet just to add a little contrast to the model. Then I washed whole Ultramarine's helmet with Null Oil. I proceeded with the nails on his hands and feet and also spikes on his forearms. Again, I used Agrax Earthshade. I didn't wash the talons and spikes on his back, 
because I wanted to keep the transition as smooth as possible. Next I applied Rayclant Flesh Shade from Citadel to his facial area and his teeth. For brain I used Drucci Violet. There are also little bumps on his skin here and there. I washed these with Rayclant Flesh Shade. With the washing done, I moved on to highlighting and I started with the nails and spikes on his forearms using the Ushapti Bone. The brain highlight was done with Zerius Purple mixed with Skull White. The helmet was highlighted with enchanted blue and the cable with standard Mechanicus grey, both mixed with white. I decided to add scratches to the helmet using lead belcher and I applied it with sponge and brush. Next I wanted to add a little glow effect to the area where his fingers touch his brain. This was done just to illustrate the warp energies flowing through his brain. To get the desired effect, I applied Troll Slayer Orange with an airbrush. I also highlighted it with the same paint mixed with white. I also added a second layer of highlight, this time almost entirely with white, I added only a little bit of the orange. When this was finished, I realized I didn't like that both the tank and brain were orange, so I decided to repaint the tank with Zerius Purple. I highlighted the tank with Zerius Purple mixed with white. I used airbrush. Finishing the face, I painted his eyes with Averland Sunset and washed his eye sockets with Drucci Violet Wash. I also washed the little recessed area on the tip of his tongue with the same wash. At this point the model was almost finished, so I decided to move on to his base. I painted and sprayed it with Armor Brown from Vallejo along with the pipe he's standing on. Using the same paint, I sprayed a little over the front and back of his feet to represent dirt. The pipe was softly dry brushed with lead belcher. Next I painted the little details on his base, first the skulls were painted with Ushapti bone, then the helmet with enchanted blue and the little gene stealer symbols with lead belcher. helmet was again highlighted with a mixture of enchanted blue and white, and then I also chipped it with lead belcher. I painted the valve on the back of the pipe with Mephiston red and again scratched it with lead belcher. I washed all these details with Agrax Earthshade. Slimy areas all around the base, 
I painted them with snot green. I washed these slimy areas with null oil. Then I used a combination of snot green and black all around these slimy areas to represent the toxic or like the spreading of this slimy goo and applied it with airbrush. Then I used armor brown and sprayed it to the bottom of the skulls to add a little dirt or contrast to them. I highlighted the slimy bits with a mixture of snot green and scorpion green, which is out of production, so you can replace it with mood green. As one of the last steps, I went back to the areas which I oversprayed earlier on his arms and legs and used Camo Medium Brown from Vallejo to create little dots. I wanted this to represent his bug or insectoid nature. Then I dry brushed the ground area of his base with Ushapti Bone. I decided to add a little shade to his hands, so I used a Biel Tan Green heavily mixed with Glaze Medium. I painted the edge of the base with a black color. To varnish the model I usually use a one-to-one -one mixture of gloss varnish from Citadel and matte varnish from Vallejo. I also usually apply two coats. To enhance the model, I glued a few tufts of yellow grass to his base. I applied gloss varnish to the slimy bits on his base and also the facial area and teeth to represent saliva. The final step was adding these little leaves to his base these are actually dried birch seeds, which you can glue with super glue. I painted this model for my new Gene Stealer Cults army, which I showed in the Tale of Four Warlords series. Check out this video, where my friend Oliver paints his Tower Riptide also for the Tale of Four Warlords series on our channel. Thank you.